Hi everyone and welcome to today's very special YouTube hop for Wow Embossing Powder. We're actually doing a little bit something different today and we're doing a dedicated thank you hop to Catherine Puller and Catherine Puller Designs. Catherine Puller always blesses us with a lot of her beautiful inspirational products and today is all about just thanking her. Um, wow Embossing Powder have worked quite closely with Catherine in creating some beautiful embossing powders, glitters and sparkles um, to add as a variety in her range and also in the Wow Embossing Powder shop. So this is a hop. So what that means is that there is a gift card. There's two gift cards, one over on Instagram for grabs and one here on YouTube. To do that, you've got to be, you've got to leave a comment and hop along to the next person, also to the design team, next design team member that will be in my product description below. And I'm going to be using a variety of products and they're all Catherine Puller related. And I'm also using this new Catherine Puller Halo Embossing Glitter. Now, this is a beautiful glitter. Here on the screen, I have Catherine Puller stamps. I've got the scribbled hearts here that I'm going to washi tape on. I'm going to be using six inks. I'm going to be making two cards today. Now today's card and this first ink blended panel is going to have Be Mine, Fiesta Blue and In The Park. I've got a makeup blending tool here and I've used Catherine Puller cardstock. Why? It's because it is ultra smooth. It's great for ink blending. It's great for her ink. The ink along with a good blending tool helps regulate the color now i know there's a proper word in the crafting world um, when the ink self-regulates and you know the saturations become you don't see that you know that heavy-handed ink blending that i do you know so with these panels this is a beautiful color combo. The reveal is just as beautiful and I love this color combo. I fell in love with this and I pretty much guarantee I will be using this color combo quite regularly. I love when you find something that you love to do, especially when it comes to inks and colors. I am not a big user in mixing my color palettes because I don't have the skills to coordinate colors well. I do a lot of... Uh, I like when the guesswork's taken out of my hand, so I use pretty much patterned paper to inspire me. I use mood boards. Um, and for today, I literally grabbed a bunch of the old, like older type of inks with the newer type of inks, the date night inks. And I just mixed it up and just placed it in front of me and went, yep, done. And that's not like me. And also with the cards today, I didn't pre-plan them. I usually have a little sketch or I have a vision in my mind where, where I want to take it. Today, it literally unfolded and you are going through the process with me. I know. Um, it was a little, it, uh, it's purely not as, you know, an, is an issue with OCD. No, it is. It is. It is. Um, however, I enjoyed this creative process, I have to say. It's probably not going to be my go-to creative process. It was a good process. It was good practice for me to let go and let the creativeness kind of unfold itself. Now, once I take the masking paper off, you can see the reveal under the stencil. And oh, like, come on, I nailed it. I don't often say that about my cards, but I nailed it. I nailed these ink blended panels. Now, with these ink blended panels, I mounted them on a 5x7 cardstock base and I'm going to be using the huts and tags. Now I've die cut the tags, both different versions of tags here. I'll be stamping the sentiment from the Life Love Latte set. I'll be also using an add-on sentiment from the Thoughtful Phrases stamp set range. And once I've stamped the sentiments on here, I then work on to the tags. Now with the tags, I wanted to add a little bit of texture. What that means is I used a transparent gloss texture paste. 
Now, I love this paste. It is my go-to paste when it comes to playing with wow embossing glitters, wow sparkles, earth sparkles, because it picks, it, it gels and adheres really down like well, but it doesn't distort the colors. It also keeps the iridescentness of the actual embossing glitters um, and it's always been my go-to. I actually use it for mixing up with the embossing glitters as well to create my own paste. But all I've done here is I've just poured the embossing glitter over the top. Now, you don't have to heat set this because this gloss paste will adhere it down and you don't have to touch it. Now I set that aside to dry and through the magic of double speed and time and television and YouTube, it's dry. I know it's magic. Now I stamp the sentiment. I mean, sorry, the, the little coffee. I love this coffee cup, this takeaway coffee cup because it's got a little cute heart. You can color it in if you want to. Uh, I decided not to today, but I just said it's an option. I'm just saying it's an option. This stamp set also comes with coordinating dies. So I was lazy and I die cut through the machine and voila, it's done. I have used some double-sided adhesive tape um, behind the tags and I use it behind the actual coffee cup as well. Later on, you'll see it. And this sentiment, this from the Thoughtful Phrases, is actually, I would class as one of my staples in my stash. I love it when you have a sentiment that you can pair well with a variety of other brands and other sentiment ranges and I thought this worked really well so feel better perk up like how nailed it I know I know and then with the butt first coffee I use the be strong because it's coffee and you like a strong coffee I know, I know. you guys are with me on this I know it I'm feeling it um, and look I just thought it paired well. I know. I've used, now for stamping um, of these acrylic stamps, I use Catherine Puller. What do you call this? What do you call this? Stamping blocks. I was going to say stamping platform, but it's not. It's stamping blocks. You know stamping blocks. And then... I just cut these sentiments down. With this second card, I have to say, I play an awfully long time with the layout. Um, I became, I was a little bit indecisive. I wanted to change things up a little bit. Um, and then I, cause I had that extra sentiment there that didn't fit and didn't stamp directly on that tag. I did fussy cut a little bit too much. Fussy cut, fussy around too much when it wasn't necessary. Once I hit everything down, I realized I did want to add some extra little bit of accent. So instead of using my normal go-to sequins, I thought I'd cut out the little mini hearts from that hearts and tags set, that die set, and color them in with the ink pads. So rather than pressing the ink pad over having and using scrap paper, I decided to do it the hard way. And I actually dipped the or pressed the little hearts in each of the ink pads directly and then I adhered them down randomly on the on the overall tags and card layout before I do that I wanted to say and remind everyone this is a hop this is a dedication hop we are so grateful for people like Catherine in this industry that shows tremendous amount of support and kindness um, and we're so excited with Wow Embossing Powder to always team up with her. So this is a little just dedication. So I hope you do leave a comment. I, I look forward to reading your comments all the time on my channel and on over on my socials. It brightens my day up. I, I don't think you realise how, how much influence it makes um, that, you know, and the, how it starts my day off when I read some of your positive comments along the way. If you do leave a comment, you're in, you, you've then entered to be into the actual $25 gift card. So we're giving away two over our Instagram 
and over on YouTube. So I can't wait to read all your comments and thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed today's card creation. My voice is a little bit different because I've been crook, but having said that, I look forward to reading all your comments and um, seeing what you have to say about it. Now, don't forget, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Here's other videos for you to watch and subscribe to my channel if you wish. Happy crafting, everyone. See you later.